Okay, quick introductory video for AccuWare's label connector for QuickBooks add-on for QuickBooks Online. I uh, want to just walk you through how to find the app and then how to work through the basics of searching data and, and creating your first label design. So to get started with our app, go to the App Store right out of your QuickBooks. It's probably the best way to start off and just search on labels. Okay and our application comes up and go ahead and just uh, up in the upper right hand corner say get app now uh, unfortunately there's a few steps here in getting authenticated the first time here so go ahead and just connect to the app um, and you'll be brought through uh, to our screen here so the main interface here is um, how, what you would be using to print labels every day like you can search by an invoice number or by items uh, to make sure you're connected okay select the items icon and just maybe select get all items um, or you can search for a couple of items if you have a huge amount of items but this kind of shows that you're connected to the data okay um, in, in some environments and on some computers you might have to log off and log back on again and just make sure it's connected okay uh, but if you can't say get all items and pull your items in, then you might have to go through that procedure. But um, so this is the environment where you'd be printing from. Um, but uh, before you can really go ahead and just start printing, you need to lay out your first label. Uh, so you need to go into the label designer screen. Okay. Now, uh, when you come into the label designer screen, there's no existing labels here. Uh, we've added a feature uh, recently. You can either start to create your own first label, but you can jumpstart the creation of your first label by importing from our library and we're going to be adding uh, quite a few labels to this to try and make your job easier getting going with your first label like we'll have various dimensions of labels and things like that but um, so first just select import from library and uh, just to show you you know how, to, how easy it is to get started I'm just gonna pick a size here and do like a 4x3 item label so I'm gonna pull that in from the library okay so up comes your label design. So um, it's a fairly simplistic designer at this point. We will be continuing to improve it, but you see on this um, label, I've already got an item barcode and a description with word wrapping. And you see there's these two uh, table entries here. So basically, whenever you're adding a text or a barcode element to this label you're going to see a row appear here so you can edit this let's just go ahead and just edit one and you'll see uh, the type of you know information that comes up when you add a text field here so um, you can you you'll want to give the, the field a name because then when it's in this table you kind of know what data element uh, is involved and then you want to select from QuickBooks where do you want this data to come in from okay so this is the key connection point here with getting your new label design working with pulling in dynamic data from QuickBooks and by the way if you select static here uh, then it's just going to be data that's on your label like maybe that's the name of your company or your website um, or some you know fixed piece of data that's not going to be pulling dynamically from QuickBooks but we'll leave this set on description um, you can word wrap or not you know at 40 characters we set that here you can do you know orientation so that it's here it's just straight up and down it's a port, uh, portrait label so we have it at zero uh, and you can you, the, the place where the lower left corner of the label will be now this is a little confusing at first and we're trying to Im improve this but basically the X and Y coordinates uh, X being across the label and Y being up and down on the label so and then you choose the font size um, so we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll just add more one, one more text element here so we'll just maybe call this uh, you know maybe we're gonna put the item onto the label so we'll just call this like item data okay and and by default it's already got that selected okay but again we could have been any of these dynamic pieces of data out of the invoice or from the item list um, and this this template by the way was already designed to work uh, with invoices so uh, and then you know for the test data this is just data that you're gonna put onto your label just to get a sense for how big you should make the font so maybe like you put in some data that's like typical of the length that your item might be for example just so you can see how big this is gonna be 
So I'll put this down at the bottom of the label, uh, and maybe I'll put it, you know, a quarter of an inch from the left side, and maybe, I don't know, we'll just put it an eighth of an inch up from the bottom, and then we'll make it a 16 font and save. Okay, so now we have that item information at the lower left-hand corner of the label. Um, and so you saw there where we do try to give you a helpful hint where, you know, the origin is the lower left corner of, you know, of the field itself and on the label. Um, so it's, again, remember that, that it's Y dimension is along here and X is along here. So, you know, it's the lower left-hand corner where that lower left corner of the A is. So, so we've created our first label. Uh, well, we've pulled it in from the library. It's called 4 by 3 item label and we've modified it, right? So we have that saved now. Um, so if we go in here uh, and close this, um, and we're going to go back into the label printing environment here, uh, if we were to put in, I believe I have an invoice, 1001, and if we go ahead and now select that template, okay, as the template we want to print, and we go ahead and just print that and it will pull in, you know, the item data um, into the barcode here, uh, the description in this section, and then the item down at the bottom. And then if you wanted to print, you know, you go ahead and here you, you, it changes the shape of it depending on what printer uh, you want to use. So here maybe we'll select our zebra printer here. So that that's kind of more uh, along the lines of like kind of how it would print. Now the page size that you set up in your printer, you have to go into your printer driver and set up the appropriate, you know, page size. I don't have one here for 4 by 3 set up right now, but you see that's going to change the way this is going to print. So you do need to go into the paper size in your printer driver uh, in Windows. So you would want to have, you know, for any thermal printer, you would want to create the paper size here, and then it'll appear in this drop down for you and place the data onto the 4 by 3 the proper way. So um, hope this kind of gives you a good introduction. Um, if we were to then print, you know, using the item list, you would then instead, you know, use this icon. But when you're in the label designer, okay, when you're creating your new label, let's say we'll call this like um, item label one, just as an example. And here we want to use the item list. And again, we'll say maybe four by two this time. Save. And now we're creating a 4x2 label, but that's going to use the item list for printing. So let's go ahead and just maybe make this be item. And the data source again is item, so we're just keeping this simple for now. Just so you can see, this is just like placeholder data here. And we'll put this maybe at 0.25 and put this up maybe a half inch from the bottom. And a size 16 font, save. So now we've got an item label that's uh, four by two, and it's designed to work with the itemless screen because we selected that when we made the first header when we first created a new label. So now we have an item uh, item label one. So we'll close this. Uh, so now we'll go back into uh, the items list, get all, and let's go ahead and just pull an item here. Maybe let's do this item right here. Print. Oh, I gotta see. It forces you to select the template, which I didn't do. Print. Okay, so it's pulled in that item for that um, T-shirt. Okay, the item was A, B, two, three, four, five. So it's dynamically pulling that in. So you can. We could have put anything on this label from that drop-down list of supported fields. Um, so like anything from this drop-down list uh, that's to do with the item. In some cases, like the ship to address, of course, you won't be using uh, if you're printing from the items list, right? So um, hope this gives you a good introduction um, to the AccuWare's label connector uh, for QuickBooks Online Edition. Um, so the idea is you come into the main screen, you definitely have to go to the label designer and most likely you can pull in a label that's very close to yours and you modify it. You can change the dimensions of it to be the dimensions of your label. 
um, but you will need to go into the label designer and create your label to prepare for printing and we will walk you through and help you and we can even create a library label for you if you call AccuWare and we'll help you with that. Thanks, hope this helps uh, give you a good introduction on uh, QuickBooks Online Edition Label Connector. Label Connector.